FedEx saw red following its earnings report. Not only did shares of the global company slip on Wednesday, the challenges facing FedEx raised red flags. FedEx customers have been resorting to cost-effective measures, just like the company. Memphis-based FedEx reported a sharp decline in quarterly earnings and also cut its full-year forecast. Net income slipped to $361 million in the latest quarter, while revenue rose to $11 billion. The second-largest package delivery company in the world reported a decline of 31% in quarterly profit. FedEx's recent efforts to restructure have not been enough to offset shippers resorting to cheaper shipping options. Now more FedEx customers have been moving away from priority shipping. As a result, the shipping giant is planning cost-cutting measures in its express shipping division. The company attributed a number of factors for the weakness in quarterly results. Excess air freight capacity was one reason cited for the decline in profit. It also plans to cut air capacity to and from Asia just starting next month and also retiring older aircraft. FedEx will also direct less profitable shipments into lower cost networks. The company will also continue to spend on a voluntary buyout plan to slash headcount. By 2016, FedEx plans to increase profit by $1.7 billion in three years by streamlining its express unit. And as part of the plan, buyouts will reduce the workforce by at least 10 percent and $1 billion of profit improvement will come from job cuts. Meanwhile, other other employees will be offered a voluntary buyout. The so-called profit improvement plan was announced last autumn. This plan also includes modernizing its air fleet. The Bellwether's quarterly results did raise questions about corporate client behavior and whether this is the beginning of a trend.